Hey guys, doing a video on HSRP. And HSRP is a first hop redundancy protocol, which means it provides redundancy for the default gateway. And any good network has redundancy. So how do we provide, like uh, typically you would have, you know, let's say gigabit, let's say router one right here, gigabit zero, 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 that's our default gateway. That's the way to send data off the local subnet. What happens if that interface goes down? What happens if that router goes down? Well, then you need to have a backup, right? You can't. You have to, a good network has redundancy. So, um, we would we would use HSRP to set router two as the backup router to um, forward traffic off the local subnet. So, how does it do it? Well, uh, we have what's called a virtual IP address and a virtual MAC address, which is created, and each router, in this case there's two routers, you could do more than two routers, but in this case there's two routers and each router would be given a priority and the router with the highest priority would become the active router and the router with the second highest priority would become the standby router. Um, and the active router would become the default gateway. So uh, in this case, router one, let's say I set the pri the default, uh, default priority is 100. So if I set the priority for router one to be 105 and I set the router or the priority for router two to be 100, um, then router one will become the active router. If that router goes down or that interface goes down, the virtual MAC address and the virtual IP address change from this router to, or this interface gigabit 000 to this interface gigabit 000 on router two. And then router two, that interface would become the default gateway. So um, yeah, and uh, what they do is they exchange what's called hello messages. So each of these routers that has HSRP enabled will exchange hello messages every three seconds. And if the, let's say router two, which is the standby router, right? Let's say that router doesn't receive a hello message in 10 seconds, which is the hold time. It doesn't receive that message. It automatically becomes the active router. So uh, yeah, let's configure it. So we'll go into router one go into the CLI and uh, HSRP is configured on the interface and it's configured on the interface that's facing the edge devices so um, you gotta think about it right which way is the default gateway gonna be it's not gonna be up here it's gonna be down here where, where gigabit zero 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 is to get off the local subnet so um, let's go into the interface interface gigabit zero slash zero slash zero <coughs> and uh, the command is Standby, and then the next part is the group number. You could between you could put between zero and four thousand ninety-five. Anything's fine. Uh, we'll do group one, and then the next command is IP, followed by the virtual IP address one nine two one sixty eight one dot four, and then we'll set the priority by setting standby one priority one oh five, and then there's another command uh, standby one preemption uh, or preempt. I'm not going to do it on this router, but what it means is if uh, if the router, if the router that is currently the active router around you, if that router's priority goes lower than your priority, then you become the active router automatically. Um, that's what preempt means. So, oops, didn't mean to delete that. Um, Oh, did, it do the, did it do the command automatically? Did I hit enter? Let's see. Do you show standby? Oh, preemption is disabled. I don't know what that was. It like locked up on me. But anyway, so uh, we have HSRP on gigabit 000 currently. And as you saw by the messages, well, I guess I'll show you. Um, this router became the active router. Obviously, it's the only router, so it has the highest priority, so it became the active router. <laughs> But uh, let's go uh, configure HSRP on the other router and see what happens. So we'll go to router two, go into the CLI, and we're going to go into the interface that's facing the edge devices, gigabit zero slash zero slash zero, and we'll go standby group one IP, and then the virtual IP address. And then we'll go, and then I, I don't have to do this command because the priority is already set to 100 by default, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then let's just do preempt anyway. Let's just do it. Why not, right? So what preempt is saying is it's saying if 
In the event that the priority of router 1 goes less than the priority of router 2, router 2 will become the active router if the priority changes. So let's do a show standby. And you did see the command where it said it was the standby router. Um, but you can see here the virtual IP address is 1.4 active. Now look at this for, um, MAC address. Kind of take a mental snapshot of that and then remember it for later. <clears throat> The hello time and the hold time is there. Uh, preemption is enabled, right? We enabled it on this router, and the active router tells us it's 1.1 or 1.1, right? And which is correct. And our priority is 100. So let's go to PC0. And on PC0, I have the default gateway set to the virtual IP address of 1.4. Remember to do that. Um, because remember, it's going to follow, you want this PC to follow that virtual IP address everywhere it goes, to whichever router it goes to. So set that default gateway to the virtual IP address. Um, so let's go to the desktop and we'll go, we're gonna ping the virtual IP address, which is 1.4, and you can see we're getting replies. So let's go to the switch, and on the switch, I wanna look at enable, I wanna look at um, the MAC address, or yeah, the MAC address. So do a show MAC address dash table. And you can see right there, right? This is the virtual MAC address. I told you to take a snapshot of it. Which port is it going out of? It's going out of port two. Why? Because gigabit 000 is the default gateway. That is the active router. So it's going to go to port fast ethernet 02. If, in the event that this router goes down, it should go to fast ethernet 0 slash 3. So um, let's clear it. All right, so we cleared the table and we'll go back to this router, router one, and we're gonna shut down the interface. All right, so now that we've shut down the interface with HSRP enabled, we have a standby router that default gateway should have changed and router number two should have became the new active router. So uh, <clears throat> let's go and let's see if anything changed on router two. Oh yeah, look at the notification here. Group one set from standby to active. So let's do a show standby. And you can see state is active. Active router is local. So. Uh, it looks like we've successfully enabled HSRP, but let's do one more thing. Let's go to PC0 and let's ping the virtual IP address again. That's our new default gateway. So it should work, right? <clears throat> and there we go, we do have connectivity, right? That's, that's great. So let's check our switch. And what happened on the switch? Let's do a show MAC address dash table. And there it is again, there's our virtual MAC address and it's going to port fast ethernet 0 slash 3 because router 2 has become the active router, therefore the new default gateway is gigabit 000. And what is it? It's our virtual IP address 1.4 and there's our virtual MAC address too. So uh, that's HSRP and that's how to configure it and have a good one.